It's not enough that the media is invoking the gun lobby over and over again. Now the Democrats are trying to insert MAGA into their phony moral rhetoric, as if the America First crowd has anything to do with this. Nothing seems to move them. Yesterday, after Beto O'Rourke confronted Texas Governor Abbott's press conference, the MAGA governor gave some empty platitudes about healing and hope. He asked people to put their agendas aside and think about someone other than themselves. My God, how dare he? What an absolute fraud the governor of Texas is. And this is the same Governor Abbott who tomorrow, tomorrow, will go speak at the NRA convention in Houston. Governor Abbott, will you ask your MAGA buddies and your NRA pals to put aside their agendas and think of someone other than themselves, like you asked the families to do? Will you ask the gun manufacturing reps who will swarm over the NRA convention to put aside their agendas and think about someone other than themselves? Of course not. The governor, Governor Abbott, is more likely to outline some new plan to further loosen gun restrictions. No amount of bloodshed seems to be enough for MAGA Republicans. <sighs> First of all, Chuck, nobody in Texas cares what you think of Texas. And not a single Texan or anyone else for that matter is viewing this as anything but an unspeakable tragedy. But blood? Maggot? Do you hear yourself? What is your idea for legislation that's so great that will actually do something and not just be another law that violates the Constitution but doesn't solve the problem? Oh, ban semi-automatic rifles? Okay, well, the cartels will just add AK-47s to their packing lists on top of fentanyl and people. But you know what? I'm here to help. Here's some common sense gun reform now legislation. Republicans should introduce the Hunter Biden Federal Firearms Forms Act to actually prosecute people who lie on federal firearms forms. What? No, 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 no. I'm not just bringing up Biden's low-life dirtbag son for no reason. Headline, Politico, there it is, Secret Service inserted itself into case of Hunter Biden's gun. Quote, on October 23rd, 2018, President Joe Biden's son, Hunter, and daughter-in-law, Haley, were involved in a bizarre incident in which Haley took Hunter's gun and threw it in the trash can behind a grocery store, only to return later to find it gone. Delaware police began investigating concerns uh, that the trash can was across from a high school and that the missing gun could be used in a crime, according to law enforcement officials and a copy of the police report obtained by Politico. But a curious thing happened at the time. Secret Service agents approached the owner of the store where Hunter bought the gun and asked to take the paperwork involving the sale, according to two people, one of whom was firsthand knowledge of the episode and the other was briefed by a Secret Service agent after the fact. The gun store owner refused to supply the paperwork, suspecting that the Secret Service officers wanted to hide Hunter's ownership of the missing gun in case it were to be involved in a crime. Okay, here's the kicker. Politico obtained copies of the firearms transaction record and a receipt for the gun dated October 12th, 2018. Hunter responded no to a question on the transaction that asks, are you an unlawful user or addicted to marijuana or any depressant, stimulant, narcotic drug or any other controlled substance? Five years earlier, he had been discharged from the Navy Reserve after testing positive for cocaine and he and his family members have spoken about his history of drug use. Lying on the form is a felony, though prosecutors, prosecutions for it are exceedingly rare. Huh. Well, maybe we ought to fix that up. Here's Hunter's, Hunter's dad on the Second Amendment. As chairman of the Judiciary Committee and as vice president, working for common sense gun reforms, as I said, as a senator and a vice president. While they clearly will not prevent every tragedy, we know certain ones will have significant impact and have no negative impact on the Second Amendment. Second Amendment is not absolute. When it was passed, you couldn't own a, you couldn't own a cannon. You couldn't own certain kinds of weapons. It's just always been limitations. Actually, two second Google search would show that you can, you could have owned cannons back then and a whole lot of other things. So according to the president, President of the United States, the Second Amendment is not absolute. 
but a court case that created national abortion on demand that now may include after birth abortion is? Really? Never heard that before. The Constitution is the law of the land. The Democrats do not get to, viol don't get to violate it for any reason. We mourn the loss of all children, whether they are lost in a tragic shooting or in a Planned Parenthood. We cannot allow them to tell us what to think and what to say, and we don't need their approval. We cannot let them control the narrative anymore. 